What's up guys and welcome to another top 5 video from me, Scarander. And today we have a list that is a list that I've actually been holding on to. I wanted to do it back in X and Y, but due to the new Mega Evolution, I decided to hold on to it and actually look at the new Mega Evolution before I decide which one are the worst of the worst. And you take this, you have said a little disclaimer. They're not the worst of the worst. It's, it's not really that sentence. It's more these Pokemons are somewhat limited by default and their Mega Evolution didn't really help them outstand that much. And due to this, I decided to make a list around of that. I don't remember mention just as I said, it was Houndoom, but it's definitely on my previous list. It actually managed to not get into this one. And um, yeah, a lot of controversial posts might be in here. And like I said, this is definitely opinion based. And I'm going to explain as much of my ability to why I think these guys are, well, why they should have been better, to be honest, because they're good and they got better, but not good enough. So, with all of this in mind, guys, make sure to also write down in the comments below here which Pokemon you think are the worst Mega Evolutions so far. And also, if you have a like an idea on how we would can make them better. So, with all this in mind, guys, let's actually get to the list. Number 5. Mega Swampert. This guy was actually kind of tough to put on a list, but it really came down to one thing and one thing only. While both Sceptile and Mega Blazik and God a huge chunk of to their abilities to become a greater sweeper, or you know, it could set up even better, Mega Swampert just became stronger. It really just became a more buff version of a Swampert, and with a Swift Swim ability, it makes it better, yes. But it is also that it has no variety of sets anymore. You can't really have it as a stealth rock or anything like that. It is now a pure sweeper and it needs rain support to kind of work. Or rather, I should say, it is, if you want to have it like a proper sweeper, you need a rain inbound. And that really, really limits your teammates. And that is why it's so low on this list. Or, or rather, why it's one of the worst ones, to be honest. It is that simple that this Pokemon works exactly the same way it did before. I don't really know how to really make this Pokemon better. I know people said, oh, give it Sap Zipper. I, I get it. It would make it broken. But basically, as of now, this thing is a survivor Pokemon, and having a force to be a sweeper makes it kind of tough. And of course, a previous set where Curse made this thing great. And seeing that it Curse doesn't really help it that much anymore really <laughs> makes this Pokemon. Like I said, just a pure sweeper, and the variety is lost in this Mega Pokemon. And like I said, the teammates are truly, truly limited for this Pokemon to work. It needs support of Brain, and there are very few Pokemons that actually can do that right, that still brings variety to the team. So that is why Mega Swampert is in the number 5 spot. And like I said, it really took against me to say this, because it is a good Pokemon, but it didn't flourish like the other did, and that is why it's in the number 5 spot. Number 4, Abama Snow. I don't know what it is with this Pokemon, but it just it just brings me sadness to see every time. Abama Snow is such a cool Pokemon, when it got a Mega Form, it truly become even better. But no. It still had the Hail and the old Snow Warning. And the Snow Warning is a good ability, considered that it is one of the few that actually realize it. But there is where this story ends, sadly, and Abomasnow being one of the coolest Pokemons I do know about has a lot of issues, like weakness issue, and very common weakness issues. It has a great stab and can definitely, it can brutalize opponent quite easily, but it lacked the speed, even though the Mega Evolution gave it a buff in attack and special attack and become a mixed sweeper. It still is just that. It is a mixed sweeper that really, really can't stand against a lot of other Mega Pokemons. And as of prove out that all that, of course, lack the power to actually withstand a lot of punishment. Like I said, I really like Mega Bomb Snow. I really believe it is one of the greatest Pokemon that got introduced. But as a standalone poke, it really, really lacks. It should definitely have gone to get an ability like Aggron did, like Solid Rock or Filter. Something that could kind of make it survive more and actually have a more focused on its either special attack or attack to really, really, you know, step up the game, or even better 
they can actually give him a rocket. I know it doesn't look like the guy, but really, it needed something to kind of distinguish itself besides just hail. But no, it kept the hail. And as of now, hail is the worst weather condition because there is very few Pokemon that can utilize it properly. And that's why people tend to not use Mega Bomber Snow because it just is too hard to utilize good in a team. And that is why it is in the number 4 spot. Number 3 Mega Audino. Mega Audino is truly one of those Pokemon that definitely, definitely needed something to, you know, really, really distinguish itself and become even better. Regenerator, one of the best abilities in the game, and I really, really thought when I introduced Mega Audino that it was definitely like healer. That was a joke. Like the way they introduced this Pokemon was basically it was a leak, and when I saw it, and oh man, first they showed ability that can lower the stats of the or the stages of the Pokemon, which was really cool. I really liked that idea. Obviously, that was not the case. And Healer is just one of those abilities that's just never gonna help. I know people saying, oh, it's gonna work in VGC. Please. Are you gonna wear this Pokemon in your VGC team? No. You're not gonna take 30% Shed Skin-ish um, prophecies to a VGC battle. You're not. Plus, normal and fairy is not that good of a typing. If anything, it kind of limits it. And Mega Audino, sure, it got some good bulk. I'll say that, and it works very well in NU. But you don't see it higher than NU. That is that simple. I mean, the best set I've seen is Call Mind, Rest Talk, and Dazzling Gleam. And I think there's where its story ends. While its original form is a great support with Heal Bell, Wish Passing, and Regenerate to kind of recover itself up and never die. This thing can kinda die. It can set up, yes. Like I said, in the higher tiers, this thing just it doesn't work. It really, really just has a very huge issue to distinguish itself. And with stronger fairy Pokemons without the Mega Evolution, this thing kinda disappears. And I really, really believe this Pokemon, if anything, should have kept its Regenerator or got a decent buff to actually work more properly. But as of now, it just doesn't work. And that is why it is in the number 3 spots. Number 2! Glalie. Now this... This is disappointment in an ice casket if I ever decided one. Mega Glalie is might have just have been one of the most like hyped Pokemon for me. Glalie has been one of my... I guess you'd say favorite. Like it had a very very distinguished design. And once Frostless was introduced I really felt that okay Glalie gets a cold shoulder now. But they got a mega form, and hey, it even got refrigerate, which actually makes a lot of sense and can actually be very, very good with it. And then 100 base speed. Oh no. Oh no. It needs more. Damn, it It can't use anything. It still has weakness to fight, and uh, hey, you got five common weaknesses. And you know, Ice Up is one of those typing that just has an issue working overall, one of the best stab, yes, and that's where it all ends. And it got the mixed set, which really doesn't help it a lot, because it definitely has no normal moves to actually utilize Refrigerate, which means that giving it a boost in special attack, it's kind of redundant. It actually is a very, very bad, decisive day thing they did there, and Glalie being just... ah. Uh, it might have gone more predictable because of this, so now it's basically just a starter with hazards and explosion to finish the game off. But, oh wait, wasn't that the same set they always had? Yeah. So Glalie is kinda bad. I mean, people put it in the BL3 and like, are you it's too strong for NU? I don't know guys, I don't know, sure explosion hurt, but there is where this story ends. And that is really why it is on number 2 spot, because it just can't compete. It is still the same Pokemon with a harder child and a broken jaw. But number 1 is... Mega Steelix. This is like the worst thing ever. I mean, Steelix is definitely, definitely my favorite Pokemon. Uh, without a doubt, Steelix is, is, is... It is my signature Pokemon, of course, but also it have won me so many games. Share Force and Life were definitely one of the funniest sets to use in definitely Trick Room. And then we got Mega Steelix, and... Um, yeah, it the uh, Sure, it's higher up in the end your ladder, and but it didn't even cut it there. It, 
Steelix just didn't... It didn't pull through here. It got good special defensive boost and a defensive boost, but in exchange of that, a lot of power was vanished. I know people are still saying, oh, but it can curse up and really, really works. Yeah, it still got very, very common issues. Water is still lacking and being slow means that you really can't deal with a lot of things on the field. You can't really set up. That is not a purpose of the Steelix. The Steelix's purpose is to soak and retaliate. And they didn't even got that right. I know they couldn't give this guy filter because then would just be a copy-paste aggron. But Sand Force? Sand Force? No! You mean we're gonna need Sandstorm to make this thing work? The only thing that benefits from Sandstorm besides the Share Force is that now Earthquake has a stab move that is increased. But everything else is generally weaker, like distinguishedly weaker. Sure, Ironhead gets there. Hey, we can use Rock Slide. Eee. No. This just blew my mind when it was released. And the worst part is, I actually released a video that I'm gonna predict the 10 most mega Pokemon I wanna see. Steelix was on the number 7 spot, if I remember correctly. The same day they actually announced this Pokemon, and I was so happy for like 10 minutes. Then they introduced Sand Force. Steelix is not that kind of Pokemon, and it definitely comes to show since they haven't gotten that much stronger or more attention. Mega Steelix should definitely become something else. Hell, they could have gave it Sand Force, but damn, give at least Steel Rock anything to make it actually, you know, being worthwhile in sand. Ah, oh, they really screwed this guy up, and obviously we're not gonna see anything new on the Mega Department from this guy. Which means that Mega Steelix is just gonna be, like the others, somewhat of a laughing stock in its tier. And I don't know. They really, really should have thought about this. Mega Steelix, great design, got a lot of things going forward. But there's where it all ends. And uh, my disappointment is strong enough to make it one of the worst, if not the worst, Mega Evolution yet to be introduced. And yeah, that's my list, guys. I really really hope you enjoyed this list. Like I said there, the difference of opinions are to be excited there. I really take that for granted that all of you guys have different opinions. Hey, a lot of people think that Mega Camerot should have maybe been the worst. No. But definitely one of the worst. But I still feel that it serves its purpose. It is more power, which is definitely what it needed from the first go. So that's why it's not on this list. But I mean, honorable mention, like I said, it was Houndoom, Mega Heracross actually. And uh, camera to some extent, I guess. Yeah, there was like those guys I was actually thinking about. But uh, honestly, he couldn't have gone either way. But the free worst one is definitely from this generation or this game that came Ruby Sapphire. And um, I really believe that these guys should have been a lot better. I don't know how, but they shouldn't have made them so... Um, so intuitive with the sets that already are, you should definitely... A Mega Pokemon for me should be more about a new custom set, you know, that these things can breach out and advance, and when they became the same thing they were before, it just brings no variety, and uh, that makes the metagame very stale, and seeing that these Pokemon were underused from the beginning really, really makes them very, very underwhelming. So anyway, I hope you liked this video, and if you do, make sure to leave a like, and remember, the sky is the limit, so have a good day, guys, and take care, right? Bye.